The Bosnian genocide refers to either the Srebrenica massacre or the wider crimes against humanity. An ethnic cleansing campaign throughout areas controlled by the army of Republika Srpska during the Bosnian War of 1992-1995. The events in Srebrenica in 1995 included the killing of more than 8,000 Bosniak men and boys as well as the mass expulsion of another 25,000 to 30,000 Bosniak civilians by VRS units under the command of General Rako Mardic. The ethnic cleansing that took place in VRS-controlled areas targeted Bosniaks and Bosnian Croats. The ethnic cleansing campaign included extermination, unlawful confinement, mass rape, sexual assault, torture, plunder and destruction of private and public property, and inhumane treatment of civilians, the targeting of political leaders, intellectuals, and professionals, the unlawful deportation and transfer of civilians, the unlawful shelling of civilians, the unlawful appropriation and plunder of real and personal property, the destruction of homes and businesses, and the destruction of places of worship. The acts have been found to have satisfied the requirements for guilty acts of genocide and that some physical perpetrators held the intent to physically destroy the protected groups of Bosnian Muslims and Croats. In the 1990s, several authorities asserted that ethnic cleansing as carried out by elements of the Bosnian Serb army was genocide. These included a resolution by the United Nations General Assembly and three convictions for genocide in German courts. In 2005, the United States Congress passed a resolution declaring that the Serbian policies of aggression and ethnic cleansing meet the terms defining genocide. The Srebrenica massacre was found to be an act of genocide by the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia, a finding upheld by the ICJ. On 24 March 2016, former Bosnian Serb leader and the first president of the Republika Srpska, Radovan Karadzic, was found guilty of genocide in Srebrenica, war crimes, and crimes against humanity and sentenced to 40 years in prison. In 2019 an appeals court increased his sentence to life imprisonment. On 18 December 1992, the UN General Assembly Resolution 47-121 in its preamble deemed ethnic cleansing to be a form of genocide stating, gravely concerned about the deterioration of the situation in the Republic of Bosnia and Herzegovina owing to intensified aggressive acts by the Serbian and Montenegrin forces to acquire more territories by force characterized by a consistent pattern of gross and systematic violations of human rights. A burgeoning refugee population resulting from mass expulsions of defenseless civilians from their homes and the existence in Serbian and Montenegrin controlled areas of concentration camps and detention centers, in pursuit of the abhorrent policy of ethnic cleansing, which is a form of genocide. On 12 July 2007, in its judgment on the Georgic V, Germany case, the European Court of Human Rights noted that the ICTY, in its judgments in the cases of Prosecutor V. Kristak and Prosecutor V. Kupriskic, expressly disagreed with the wide interpretation of the intent to destroy as adopted by the UN General Assembly and the German courts, referring to the principle of nullum crimen sine liege. The ICTY considered that genocide, as defined in public international law, comprised only acts aimed at the physical or biological destruction of a protected group. In 2001, the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia judged that the 1995 Srebrenica massacre was genocide. In the unanimous ruling prosecutor v. Kristek, the appeals chamber of the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia, located in The Hague, reaffirmed that the Srebrenica massacre was genocide. The presiding judge Theodore Marone stating, by seeking to eliminate a part of the Bosnian Muslims, the Bosnian Serb forces committed genocide. They targeted for extinction the 40,000 Bosnian Muslims living in Srebrenica, a group which was emblematic of the Bosnian Muslims in general. They stripped all the male Muslim prisoners, military and civilian, elderly and young, of their personal belongings and identification.
and deliberately and methodically kill them solely on the basis of their identity. In September 2006, former Bosnian Serb leader Momchilo Krajiznak was found guilty of multiple instances of crimes against humanity. But while the ICTY judges found that there was evidence that crimes committed in Bosnia constituted the criminal act of genocide, they did not establish that the accused possessed genocidal intent or was part of a criminal enterprise that had such an intent. In 2007, the court found insufficient evidence to conclude on alleged genocidal intent. The court is however not convinced, on the basis of the evidence before it, that it has been conclusively established that the massive killings of members of the protected group were committed with the spec.